Hey guys, welcome to Rome. Welcome to Rome. Welcome to Rome. Welcome to the bus in Rome. Welcome to Rome. Welcome to Rome. In this video, join me as I explore the captivating city of Rome, taking in the breathtaking sights of the Trevi Fountain and the iconic Colosseum and the historic Roman Forum. But if you're here specifically for the fascinating tale, how did Colosseum break? Feel free to skip ahead to the part using the timestamp provided in the video description. So without further ado, let's embark on this incredible journey through the heart of Rome. Immigration is done. We're going to take a bus and a train to get to our Airbnb right next to the Vatican City. Rome is pretty warm. Welcome to this Airbnb. We just came inside. It's a private apartment right next to the metro and also right next to the Vatican City. Nine, nine, ten, eight, okay. We booked an Airbnb apartment for three nights. This apartment is simply amazing, offering a comfortable stay that's right on point. While it may not be extravagant, it meets all expectations. The space is equipped with all the amenities you need. And most importantly, it's exceptionally clean and hygienic. Mm. Love it. From the balcony, you'll be treated to a view of the Vatican City's St. Peter's Basilica. So now we are ready to go for a tour. This is the most important tour when you come to Rome. This tour is three things in one go. We're gonna go to the Colosseum. That's the starting point. Then we go to the Roman forums. These are all the places that we're gonna be covering starting at three o'clock. And before then, we're just gonna roam around and see some other things like the Trivi Fountain. We arrived yesterday and today is the first day. It's about noon and now it's gonna be super hot so that's why I'm wearing what I'm wearing and I'm kind of looking forward to it. I am packed and I look like a tourist. I look like a tourist. We're gonna take the metro line, which is right next to our apartment, the Airbnb, and then we're gonna ride six stops to Barberini. Crossing the road is a little bit. We are on our way to see the Trevi Fountain. The centerpiece of the Trevi Fountain is a magnificent statue of Neptune the Roman god of the sea, riding a chariot pulled by two sea horses. Visitors throw coins into the fountain while making a wish, and it is believed to ensure a return to Rome. The Trevi Fountain has also gained worldwide recognition through popular culture being featured in films such as La Dolce Vita and Roman Holiday. So we are walking from Barberini to our next destination, our first destination for the day, and on our first day, the Chevy Fountain.
The Trevi Fountain is indeed known for attracting large crowds, especially during peak tourist seasons. Due to its iconic status and popularity, it can get quite crowded throughout the day. The vast number of visitors who come to see and toss coins into the fountain can make it challenging to find a peaceful and unobstructed view. To avoid the heaviest crowds, it's recommended to visit early in the morning or late in the evening when there are fewer people around. All right guys, visiting the fountain was a great experience because it had a lot of people putting coins inside and this is estimated that about 700,000 American dollars are put inside this fountain. Great experience from here. It's about 21 minutes walk to the Colosseum and that's where our tour begins in about an hour and a half. So we're gonna break that journey and just see along the way some really amazing architecture, some beautiful monuments, some history, and then some tourists, because they seem to be everywhere. The famous Roman amphitheater, the Colosseum, also named the Flavian Amphitheater, was built between 70 and 72 AD by Flavian emperors as a gift to the Roman people. She's dancing in the field and the sun is It could hold an estimated 50,000 to 80,000 spectators and the games could go on for days. Let the games begin! One of the most well-known uses of the Colosseum was for gladiatorial games, which were often violent and deadly. Gladiators, usually slaves or prisoners of war, were forced to fight each other or dangerous animals for entertainment. These games resulted in the loss of countless lives and were a grim reminder of the brutal nature of ancient Rome. Aside from the games, the Colosseum also hosted dramas, reenactments, and even public executions. Eventually, the Romans' interest in the games decreased. After the fall of the Western Roman Empire, the Colosseum began to deteriorate. The most destructive earthquake occurred in 1349, resulting in the collapse of large portions of the southern side of the amphitheater. This accident caused the loss of numerous lives. A series of earthquakes during the 5th century CE damaged the structure, and it also suffered from neglect. By the 20th century, nearly two-thirds of the original buildings had been destroyed. Nevertheless, a restoration project began in the 1990s to repair the Colosseum. Despite its dark history, today it stands as an iconic landmark and a reminder of the ancient world's complex and often brutal history. That was the Colosseum experience, and now we're gonna wrap it up. It was really amazing, it was grand, it was huge. So this is the south side that was constructed later. This is the addition. Now we're gonna go to the next room. We continued our journey to this next incredible destination, the Roman Forum.
So behind me you see the biggest ruin of the Roman forums. This entire structure used to be Basilica, which used to be called the administration building. And now Basilica obviously is a church, but this was uh, the tallest or the biggest structure that was discovered in the ruins. The Roman Forum, located in the heart of ancient Rome, was the center of political, social, and commercial life during the Roman Empire. So this was the Temple of Rome, and even though it's been reconstructed, but there are some original parts. And this one still has the original door, and believe it or not, the lock still works. This was a fantastic experience. We had a great time, the guide was amazing, and we just had a blast. Today we covered the Colosseum, which was grand and really amazing. And then we went to the Roman Forum. That was the place where all of the business used to happen, the politics of Rome happened, and it was really, really fascinating. All these ruins, different temples, burial grounds, mind-boggling. And this has been a really fantastic uh, day exploring Rome. In our next video, we'll explore the smallest country on the planet, the Vatican City. I invite you to stay tuned for the next part of our journey. Until then, thank you for joining us. See you soon. Goodbye.